Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and this is Jester. Jester is a star nose mold fursuit that I made a couple of months ago, a few, a few months ago. And uh, he was going to be pre made, but I got kind of attached, so. Uh, <laughs> new fursuit. Anyway, today's video, I wanted to unbox this Charmander plushie that I got the other day, so let's uh, unbox. I've already cut the tape so I can just open it, so here we go. Oh no, I need scissors. Scissors. Okay, continue. Oh, I see orange. Oh my gosh, he is huge. Oh my goodness. Big boy! Oh my gosh, I did not expect him to be this chunky and big. Wow! Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> so uh, this is a 20 inch vintage Charmander plush. He is in not brilliant condition but he's still in pretty good shape. I mean, what is he, 20 years old or so? 21 maybe? I'm not sure. Wow, he's massive! <laughs> so I actually have this plush in the smaller form. In fact, let me go and get him. So this is the small version of this. Uh, as you can see, mine is very old and very faded. I mean, I've had this one since I was, what, six or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's a long time. Um, <laughs> but this one has been in an adult collector's collection for a while. So uh, he's been kept in good shape, aside from, you know, paint chipping on the eyes, you know, stuff that just happens with age. So on the smaller plush, all of the claws and the teeth are done with a single piece of felt, so everything's very 2D. Whereas on this big one, uh, you can see that the claws are actually sewn and stuffed. So I thought that was really interesting, and uh, that's kind of why I was like, hmm, I would quite like that in my collection. <laughs> Charmander is my favourite Pokemon, but ironically, I only have two plushies of him. This is the second plush of Charmander that I've added to the collection. <laughs> Neither of these plushies are in like brilliant condition, but I mean, what are you gonna do? They're like 20 years old or so, so <laughs> they're as good as they can be for their age. I am not in frame, but at least the Charmanders are. He's just such a vibrant orange, it's great. And honestly, my favourite type of Pokemon plush is the one that uses this fuzzy material. Like you can see behind me, I've got how many fuzzy plushies? One, two, three, four. I have four plushies behind me with that, oh wait, no, five. Five plushies with the fuzzy material. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't really make them out of this fuzzy material anymore. Just, you know, with the times changing and materials that are more popular, Minky is the new popular material, which is fine. Minky is a lovely fabric, but uh, this is my personal favourite. I also just love the style of them with like the, the plastic eyes that are like sculpted to be in the right shape. And honestly, my favourite Charmander plush pattern will always be the vintage ones. Before I sign off, let me show you this bootleg that I got the other day. This is Two Tails Pikachu. He's got two tails and brown hands and feet. I saw him on eBay and it was like, that was weird. So, uh, <laughs> I bought him. <laughs> he's just so weird, like, I'm like 99% sure he's just a bootleg. But look at him. Look at him. Two tails. Brown hands, brown feet. He's so weird. I've just been obsessed with him for like the past week. Just, who are you? I actually used to collect Pikachus more than other Pokemon plushies when I was younger, but nowadays I just collect all of them. And to be honest, I'm more focused on collecting these uh, fuzzy type ones than the newer minky type ones. Obviously I'm not gonna exclude them from my collection, just whichever plushies I like, I buy, so... <laughs> That's how I collect things. I'm not too bothered about the value of them. If I like them, then uh, I get them. Even if they are a bootleg. <laughs> 
Well, that was this week's video. Maybe a little bit different than my usual stuff, but then again I say that almost every week, so what is my usual stuff anymore? I don't know. Maybe it was a shorter video, maybe not. We'll see when I've edited it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts. It's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one and bye!